As an adult, Walt wrote, To tell the truth, more things of importance happened to me in Marceline than have happened to me since or are likely to in the future. We decided to take just a stop off the route. And why did we do that? We're going to Walt Disney's hometown of Marceline, Missouri. Cool. And what year did they say he came here? 1906, I think. Yep. Yep. Said his mom and dad were living in Chicago and they decided they didn't want their kids to have like the dangers of the city to affect them. Okay, we're coming up into the city of Marceline. There's the water tower. I was hoping it would have Mickey Mouse ears on it. It says Tiger Country instead of Mouse Country. Marceline welcomes you. It's not a big town. Located on the north edge of town as you're coming in on Highway 5 is where Walt's boyhood home was. This is where his father Elias and his mother Flora settled when they came to Marceline from Chicago. And behind the residence and down a side road is where you'll find Walt's Dreaming Tree and Barn. Walt's Dreaming Tree and Barn are this way. This is the son of the Dreaming Tree. This was planted in September 2004 by Bradford Disney Lund and Disney World Ambassadors and they brought soil from the Magic Kingdom and waters from the rivers of America to be added to the soil on the Disney farm for the planting ceremony. The original dreaming tree was a large cottonwood tree and it was destroyed in a storm in 2015. And I believe this area is all that's left of the original dreaming tree where Walt would sit for hours and he would do what he called belly botany, lay on the ground and watch bugs and animals and the trees and everything around him and he said on a good day he would see Bambi and from his time spent here thinking and dreaming and planning and playing came the cartoons movies and the theme parks that we all love this is a replica that was built here of the original barn that was on the Elias Disney family farm this barn played an important part in young Walt Disney's life and inside the barn are lots of signatures and thanks to Walt and his family. So if you come, it's perfectly okay to write on the barn walls and tell Walt and his family thank you for all the memories and the dreams come true. And there's a book. It's all made out of wood. And Walt called this barn his happy place. It tells the story about how he was age four when his family moved from Chicago to the farm in Marceline. Walt soon discovered he loved farm life. Walt made movies with real actors and animals. One movie had a barn just like the one in his boyhood farm. In a workshop in his backyard, he had the same barn created again. This barn was a celebration of his 100th birthday. So on September 22nd, 2001, they recreated this replica of his original barn on the farm once owned by the Disney family. But as a fitting tribute, the humble little red barn finally came home from its long journey through the life and times of a small town farm boy. The original one was destroyed over the years and they think some of the wood was even used for firewood during the depression. And his happy place barn was said to be the birthplace of Imagineering. Walt would spend his time there coming up with ideas for the theme parks and movies and cartoons. So it was definitely his happy place. I'm going to try to find a blank spot and write something here too. Aw, I like this saying over here. May the magic of Disney be with all who visit Marceline, Missouri. And this, this little sign here says, this beam was on display at Disneyland prior to being permanently installed in Walt's Marceline barn. Somebody wrote, you brought us together, 5712, the true Disney dream, happily ever after. And we're here in Walt's barn on our 35th wedding anniversary. We're happy to get to share it with Walt. Because we love Disney. He's given us a lot of enjoyment over the years. Yeah, his dreams have made our dreams fulfilled. And you're my dream. Aww. Aww. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. Corny, but sweet. And the story's funny about this barn. Walt held his first barnyard circus in here. And he charged his friends 10 cents a head to come and watch it. And he dressed up some animals in clothes and put on a show. Some of those that came complained that it was just a cat and a dog and a pig dressed up in clothes and they wanted their money back. 
So his mom made him refund all the money. This is Marceline, Missouri, the boyhood home of Walter Elias Disney. Now we're gonna turn off and go to his museum, Walt Disney Hometown Museum. We need to go there to the left. We're at the Walt Disney Hometown Museum in Marceline. This is the Santa Fe Depot, circa 1913. Marceline used to be a big railroad town, but the station was shut down and the stop discontinued and they turned it into a museum for Walt Disney after he passed away. And trains were definitely one thing that Walt loved. His love of trains may have started when he came here from Chicago on a train. Admission is $10 for adults, children 6 to 12 is 5, and members and children under 6 is free. Self-guided tour, 10,000 square feet of immersive Disney history. Exciting. Here we go. WDHM, the Walt Disney Hometown Museum. They have a little souvenir shop here with lots of Disney memorabilia. Magnets, hats, shirts, railroad spikes commemorating Walt Disney's 100th birthday party in Marceline, Missouri. This cool museum shows all kinds of things about Marceline and the dreaming tree. Always thought, let's take time to go visit again. This would be the perfect time if Roy's not busy. Roy's not busy. Mention Autopia, like one of the little gas powered cars at the Speedway, yeah, Disneyland yeah. Speedway. It says that the, was the original was open adjacent to Storybook Land Canal Boats in Disneyland. In 1960, Walt Disney came to Marceline for the dedication of the Walt Disney Elementary School. It's still named that to this day. And Walt sent Bob Moore, one of his favorite studio artists, to decorate the building with themed character murals. Walt Disney Elementary, where the magic of learning begins. You think, Stan, it's a school of dreamers? I think so, I hope so. Walt would want it that way. Yeah, I think so too. Walt's imagination and dreams took him from the Main Street of Marceline to Main Street USA in Disneyland and Magic Kingdom. The confectionery located at this site in the Allen Hotel block, built in 1905, was a favorite for Marcelinians with a sweet tooth. When designing Downtown Disney, which is adjacent to Disneyland, the Disney Company included Marceline's confectionery in this themed area. Ma Vick's Corner Cafe. It even looks like it's made with a Disney font. And in Ma Vick's, they have some pictures of Walt Disney. And a sketch. Seven Dwarfs. On one of Walt's visits to Marceline, Roy and Walt went down to one of Walt's favorite fishing spots and tried it out again. Walt made several visits back to Marceline over the years and was a great supporter of the town. And there's Walt and Roy at the Midwest premiere of his full-length feature film, The Great Locomotive Chase. And here's the old Zercher's jewelry store. And Walt used this building as the design for one of his buildings on Main Street, USA. This building now is the Magic of Marceline store. It's got a lot of Disney memorabilia here. The Zercher building in Marceline is linked to Disneyland's Coke Corner. And this Coca-Cola billboard is said to have been probably established in 1906, the same year that the Disneys moved to Marceline. There's the Uptown Theater. This is where Walt held some movie premieres. And those drew a big crowd and a lot of attention. In 1956, Walt and Roy Disney held the Midwest premiere of their feature film, the Great Locomotive Chase. In 1998, the Walt Disney Company held another premiere, The Spirit of Mickey, at this theater. 18,000 enthusiastic Disney fans came to Marceline for the premiere. Wow, that's a lot of people in a small town. And Goofy is sitting in the admission booth. He's gonna take your tickets if you come. 
And inside is a Donald Duck sitting there on the floor. And the concession counter. And a sign that says Walt Disney's Spirit of Mickey. Walt credited his boyhood years in Marceline as the time when his imagination grew and his dreams began. So these were very formative years for him here. Marceline gave Walt his inspiration for the Matterhorn ride in Disneyland, scenes in Lady and the Tramp, the Silly Symphonies, a lot of the animals and creatures you see in his cartoons, and his whole future started here. Ripley Park is where the Disney family would come to listen to concerts. They would hitch up their horse-drawn wagon and come to town and gather around the gazebo to hear the bands play. In Ripley Park, there's also the Santa Fe 2546 train, Disneyland Railroad. In 2004, the Marceline Post Office was renamed the Walt Disney Post Office, the only federal building named after Walt Disney. After Walt Disney's death in 1966, the town of Marceline lobbied to have a Walt Disney stamp made. And in 1968, the first day of issue ceremony was held at the Marceline Post Office. And inside the lobby of the post office are some Disney stamps that were issued over the years. And there's a stamp that was issued to honor Walt in 1968. Any day of the year, you can go into the Marceline Post Office, the Walt Disney Post Office, and get a special cancellation. It says where the dream began, Walt Disney Post Office, Marceline, Missouri. It's pretty cool. The cancellation was free, so all it costs you is the price of the envelope if you don't have one, but you can bring your own envelope and stamp in and they'll stamp it for you. This is very cool. We just found this where it says Main Street, USA, and it's got the Mickey ears. Very cool. At the end of Main Street is Walt Disney Municipal Park. This park was dedicated in Walt Disney's name. A pool was built here. There's ball fields and a playground. And this is where Disney set up his Midget Autopia ride that he brought in from Disneyland and donated to the town and the children of Marceline. Okay, we're coming up on Main Street and we're leaving uh, Main Street, USA which is the middle of town in Marceline. And you really don't want to come on a Monday because a lot of the shops and stores are closed. And in fact, the Walt Disney Museum is actually closed on Mondays. So you wouldn't be able to go through all of his different archives and so many neat things that they had donated to the town of Marceline. And that was the Disney family that donated it. So remember, don't come on Mondays. Take time out of your life and go visit Marceline and get to see where Walt lived. We love Disney and we think it's special. And the town's motto is, where Walt found the magic. See you real soon, Marceline.